police believe they may have positively identified more of Carol's victims based on a videotape that was confiscated from his home last week that shows Carol involved in sexual acts with multiple children and two women who appear to be unconscious. And we now know why the eight-year-old victim and her three siblings were at Carol's home that night in the first place. According to police, the two sisters and one brother were the adoptive siblings of the victim, and they had been court-appointed Carol as an advocate through the CASA organization. The victim was not involved in the program, according to police. CASA maintains that that case had been closed, and they recommend volunteers do not maintain contact once their job is done. Police say in this case, though, Carol had grown very close to the family, and he was trusted like a relative. Police say Carol invited the kids to spend the weekend with his family, and their mother was under the impression that Carol's wife and high school-aged daughter would be home. The kids had spent the night there before, and police say no one could have guessed what allegedly happened. Even if you do background searches all day long, you may never know until something like this happens, until some child or some individual comes forward and goes, hey, this happened to me. Now, as soon as CASA learned of these allegations, they dismissed Carroll as a volunteer. He was assigned to a case at that time, and he's been a volunteer with the program since 2004. The CASA is working closely with the police department during this investigation, and the police say they've had several more leads in the past few days, and they're investigating all of those, and they fear Carroll may have been a sexual predator for years. From downtown, I'm Chelsea Hover, News 8 Austin.